There was a person who collapsed and suddenly died while doing Zumba in Uttar Pradesh. Many people are dying in the gym while exercising. Hi everyone, I am Dr. MSS Mukherjee, a senior interventional cardiologist. Today, I want to talk something that has been causing a lot of concern lately. The sudden cardiac deaths in the post-COVID period. There has been a lot of panic and misinformation, so let's clear things up and talk about what we can do to reduce these sudden deaths. First of all, it is very important for us to know that the sudden cardiac deaths were already on the rise even before the pandemic. This isn't a new issue. Various factors like lifestyle changes, more heart disease and an aging population have been driving this trend even before the pandemic. There are two studies I'd like to quote. A study published in the British Medical Journal by FIFA found that between 2014 and 2018, 617 athletes experienced sudden cardiac death or resuscitated cardiac arrest while on the field. Even highly monitored group like athletes have been affected even before. And then there is another study from NEJM or New England Journal of Medicine which looked at sudden cardiac deaths among people aged between 1 and 35 in Australia and New Zealand from 2010 to 2012 and they found that 490 people died with an annual incidence of sudden death of 1.3 per 1 lakh population. Most of these cases involved young men and many were unexplained. This just shows that sudden cardiac death has been a concern long before COVID. We just remember, sudden deaths are not new and awareness is the key. Now, with all the technology we have, every incident of sudden death is more likely to be recorded, be it in the gym, be it in the Zumba class or be it in, in the marriage. Surveillance cameras, smartphones, social media, they all ensure that these tragic events are captured and shared widely. This increased visibility can seem like as if there is a sudden spike in sudden death cases, but it is partly because we are just more aware of each occurrence. Remember, increased visibility may not equate with increased incidence. There are many causes of these sudden deaths, the most important being a heart attack. But not just heart attack, but conditions like hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia or CPVT, long QT syndrome like uh, Brugada syndrome and arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia, these kind of diseases also, they play a significant role. They will have sudden death, but there will not be an underlying heart disease, a heart attack. Understanding these conditions is crucial for a comprehensive cardiac care and prevention. Remember, you know the causes, you can save the lives. Then we have to consider something really important. Learning cardiopulmonary resuscitation is incredibly important. Immediate response can save lives. You must have seen that a lot of these people, no CPR was attempted. At Pulse Heart Super Specialty Hospital, we are offering free CPR lessons to all to help you learn this life-saving skill. Just yesterday, a 35-year-old man came to our hospital with chest pain and he had a cardiac arrest in the emergency room. We have performed CPR immediately, gave a shock and did a primary angioplasty and he is just doing fine now. I just talked to him on the way up here. We also have a video that I have shot with the famous Tollywood director Raj Morley demonstrating how to do the CPR. I will give you the link in the description. You can watch it and learn the steps to potentially save a life with CPR. So please, please take the advantage of our free CPR training course. It's a skill that could make you a lifesaver. Please remember, CPR saves lives and learn it today. And Pulse Art Super Specialty Hospital is there for you to help it. Post-mortem examinations can provide valuable insights into the causes of sudden deaths. These studies can reveal the underlying conditions that were not diagnosed while the patient was alive. Encouraging and supporting the practice of post-mortem examinations, especially when the cause of death is not very clear, can help us 
gather data to better understand and prevent these events in the future. So the, both the government as well as the public should encourage the postmortems. Remember, postmortems uncover the truth. COVID-19 has had an impact on the cardiac health. Let us address the elephant in the issue. Some studies suggest that the COVID-19 can cause myocarditis and an inflammation of the heart muscle which can contribute to sudden cardiac deaths. The long COVID symptoms including ongoing cardiovascular issues are also need to be studied for their potential impact on the heart health. So if you have had a COVID-19, especially if it was severe, it is important for you to monitor your heart health closely, especially if you experience symptoms like chest pain or breathing difficulty. Remember, monitor your heart, especially if you have had a severe COVID illness. And let us talk about the most controversial aspect, the note on the COVID-19 vaccines. There is a growing concern among some people that COVID-19 vaccines are causing sudden deaths. However, it is important to note that there is no conclusive evidence proving that these vaccines are responsible for these deaths. Interestingly, most vaccine-related blood clots with the Covishield vaccine were reported in women, but the sudden deaths that we see now are mostly in men. We have seen a lot of sudden deaths and most of these are in men. This goes against the theory that vaccines are the cause. Nevertheless, the role of the vaccine should be further investigated to ensure a comprehensive understanding. Blaming the vaccines or exonerating vaccines can be a form of escapism, diverting the attention from more pressing preventive measures and treatments. Instead of focusing on unproven claims, let us all prioritize actions that are known to protect heart health like the regular exercise, regular food intake and proper food intake, adopting a healthy lifestyle, regular checkups and learning CPR. Remember, COVID vaccines have not been proven to cause sudden cardiac deaths. Further investigation is needed. Please don't bother about them. Regular heart health checkups are also crucial for an LD detection and management of heart conditions. Routine ECG, echo and stress test once in a year can help detect abnormalities that might lead to sudden cardiac events. Preventive health care can save lives by identifying the risks before they result in severe outcomes. So please remember that regular checkups including knowing your numbers like your blood pressure, blood sugar and cholesterol levels, these simple things can prevent sudden deaths. And then we come to healthy lifestyle. Adopting a healthy lifestyle is a very powerful tool in preventing heart disease. This includes a balanced diet, a regular exercise, avoiding smoking and managing the stress. Quitting smoking is especially important as it significantly reduces the risk of heart disease and sudden cardiac death. These habits, the healthy habits, not only improve the overall health but they also significantly reduce the risk of cardiac events. Remember, if you have healthy choices, you will have a healthy heart. Finally, we should also talk about raising the public awareness. The public awareness campaigns about the importance of heart health, recognizing the symptoms of cardiac issues. I am going to do a video on exactly how the heart pain will be. And the importance of immediate action during the cardiac emergencies like CPR, they can make a huge difference. Educating the public can lead to better outcomes and potentially save lives. Most of the people are happy in uh, typing social media about this, these deaths without actually learning the CPR. Awareness saves lives. In summary, while sudden cardiac deaths in the post-COVID period have generated a lot of concern, it is important to view this issue in the context. These deaths were increasing even before the pandemic and are now these deaths are more visible due to technological advancements. We have studies which showed that these sudden deaths were on the rise even before the COVID. Learning CPR, understanding the diverse causes of sudden cardiac death, and encouraging post-mortem studies, promoting a regular health checkup, and a healthy lifestyle, these are all the crucial steps in addressing this issue. Let us focus on proven measures to protect our heart health rather than getting distracted by unproven claims. Thank you for watching. Stay informed, stay healthy, 
and take care of your heart. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the information given here. Thank you.